Welcome back to the Coach Cameron Podcast. A lot of exciting things happening. I've done 1,100 episodes plus, which is always cool. And I got my mug today. It has a medulla obligata on the back. But we're going to talk about Alexi Lawless, a poor guy. He tweeted. How dare he tweet something? And then, um, yeah, he's in big trouble because the cancel culture is coming. All of this on episode 531. Oh, poor Lexi, 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 Lexi. He made a critical mistake. And what mistake was that? Uh, He decided that he was going to send out a tweet. And the tweet says, now it takes courage to actually stand for the national anthem. Okay. Um, Yeah, that's going to get you in big trouble, Mr. Lexi. My lighting's horrible. Look, I got a hole in my freaking head if I move differently for the ones watching me on YouTube. Flip. Oh, well. Hole in my head. Uh, I, uh, in my arms. I'll never figure this out. It's a low-budget operation here. Anyways, Lexi sent that out, and then he got attacked like crazy. And, of course, he uh, sent an apology. Uh, so he said, with this on Twitter as well, today... I watched an American professional soccer game in which all the players on the field took a knee during the U.S. anthem. It was an organized, unified, and peaceful protest by a league and a group of players who were sending an important message about the changing times in our society. I wholeheartedly, this whole heart, uh, support the NWSL and its players bringing attention to the problem of pr- uh, police brutality and, sis- and sis- uh, systemic racism that exists. I rec- regret that my earlier tweet distracted from the historic and powerful actions of the f- on the field, so I have deleted it. I'm sorry for any hurt or anger it caused. Uh, you're, you're more upset, Lexi, for the, the hurt, or the anger and the outrage that's coming your way, and it, and it won't stop. You are now a target. You'll never be forgiven, and you're going to be destroyed. And you better – whatever you've done in your past, Lexi, you you better hope they don't find it because they're coming to get you. They're relentless. They don't stop. They don't. They're going to get you. What are you going to do, Lexi? Uh, I wonder what happened. Let's see. He puts that tweet out because this is not like Lexi Lawless. This is how scary it is today. You cannot have a thought. You cannot have a dialogue in these days. Even on Facebook. I see everyone posting on Facebook. I believe this, and therefore, since I believe it, I'm posting it. And then in my post, my message, uh, you better not disagree with me. And if you disagree with me, you better uh, disassociate yourself from me and delete me as a friend. Because I have a thought. You're not allowed to have a thought. And there it is. What is wrong with you people? I saw like three of those today. I, I always see them occasionally, but I see I see people I really like putting that crap up. Uh, what's, what's wrong with you? Why can't we have a discussion? I get there's a lot of hate, and I don't want to engage in any of this stuff. Um, I want to avoid it, but it's hard to avoid because you, you got to stay off social media. Oh, here I am. I'm doing a podcast. Um, but that's life in 2020. Freedom of speech doesn't exist. You know, in order to have freedom of speech, you have to have the ability to offend. That's the freedom of speech. And if we can have a conversation about it, we might get on the same page. Um, That needs to happen. Dialogue must happen. And it's certainly concerning. So uh, one thing that made me feel better about the NWSL, and you I never saw this photo. I saw that on Twitter, I think. I had no idea someone was standing, um, standing up next to uh, – uh, who is that? I already know who, who, those two. I probably shouldn't know those things. Uh, yeah, they're, they're uh, you know, they're consoling. It's a great little moment. I saw it all over Facebook. I had no idea someone was standing next. I had no idea. I thought everyone took a knee. But that's, that's not the case. Uh, not everyone was in that situation. There was, um, there was also, oh, geez. Um, there was also, uh, 
man, I s- get off my screen. I'm horrible at this. I need someone to work for me and show me how to. It'd be nice to just talk, but I have to like do everything, everything, and I'm not good at it. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of people that didn't take a knee, and you didn't see it on on TV. You you, you didn't see it anywhere. It's crazy. Here here's the thing. Um. I'm happy that there's others with different opinions out there and they're standing for the national anthem. That's good. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It doesn't even matter what I think. But what matters is we have to be able to feel free to not feel compelled that you have to behave a certain way. I mean, you imagine you have to do it this way. There's no dialogue. You can't even protest. Or the mob will get you. That is not good, ladies and gentlemen, at all. Did, did I already say my mug came in? Has medulla oblongata in the back. I don't even know if I look his eyeballs are jacked up. Is it actually green? But I have a green screen. Um, we have to have freedom to have discussion. Have to, because we, we can't be controlled by the mob ever. You think things are going the right way? No one knows. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, probably.